Hey guys, today I'm going to be filling a plan with me for the last week in July in my fitness planner. I'm going to be using the Scribble Prince Co. Um, mermaid kit. It was, I don't know what the actual name of this kit was, but it was going to be one of her mystery kits. And then she uh, decided to do a different um, kit because so many other popular shops had released kits with this clip art and it was discounted. I want to say it was like 20 or 25 dollars for this. Um, I Of course I also have my Planner Kate stuff and I'm going to be using this like lighter blue color and then when I'm actually like using my fitness stickers um, where I still have the darker blue I'll use that but I only have the blue left for my fitness, I'm uh, not fitness, my weights. Um, and then I have my Blue Mile sticker. I know last week I was like, hmm, I'm going to live on the edge and do different colors and blah, blah, blah. And I also have the dark blue this week. I may use one of the weekly stickers for Miles. Sometimes I do that with Scribble Prince Co. kits. Sometimes I stick with Planner Kate. I usually just feel it out depending on the color scheme. So I might, if there's like a pink weekly checklist, I might use that. So I won't be using this. And other than maybe using an exercise header off of here, I won't be using any of this. But I pretty much use everything else on here except for these icons. And then I have the heart checklist, the full boxes, and I'll use like the full washi but not the little washi. So a lot of times, um, or at least what I've been doing, is I save the bits and pieces from these kits and then I can do white space spreads with them and pull in other icons and that sort of thing. I have a pretty extensive multicolor collection from Scribble Prints Co. and many other shops. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to start by putting down my bottom washi, I think. That'll be good. And how do I want to do this? What did I do last week? Last week I think I had thin washi, so I had the half boxes there. I think I might still layer the half boxes over this. Um, I like this bottom washi, but sometimes the patterns are like so pretty I don't want to cover it up, but I don't mind part of it being covered up here. Um, so today marks the last day of the bikini series. I'm filming this on Sunday, which is great because I filmed my last couple ones on a Monday. Um, it's nice to kind of have a little bit more of a down weekend. Um, so I am done. Um, last night I hit my 100 miles by summer mark. Um, while I'm talking, I think I'm going to put my half boxes under one and move this down a little bit and put my half boxes. I think I'm going to do that. Um, I hit my 100 by summer challenge, which if you haven't been watching my fitness plan with me's or, you know, you're not familiar with Tone It Up, um, I've kind of talked about this before, but they do like a 100 mile challenge, which is basically just to do 100 miles of cardio, which is, you know, a mile to mile ratio if you're walking or running. And then um, biking, it's like three miles of biking equals one mile um, for like their cardio counting. And 10 minutes of hit equals a mile, um, like between 10 and 15 minutes of different cardio depending on the intensity so you know if you're just kind of like slowly going on the elliptical at a pretty low resistance like you might count 15 minutes as a mile but if you're like at a really high resistance and you're really pushing yourself it might be like 12 or 10 minutes you know so I hit and they have like a thing on their their site that like breaks it down but I hit 100 miles. I actually hit 101 miles yesterday. I'm so proud of myself. I've been doing Tone It Up for three years and I've never, ever, ever, ever actually completed a 100 mile challenge. Um, I've always either petered out by the end or I just basically have given up. And I am really proud of myself because I didn't give up and I actually did it and my food component still needs a lot of work but I 
feel really proud of myself that I stuck to the fitness portion um, really, really well, and I pushed myself, and I got it done, and I made a, I made you know a goal, and I hit that goal. I made a promise to myself when this started that I was going to do it, and I did it, and I feel really awesome about that. Um, they are doing a second round of the eight-week plan. I think they're taking this week off as like a recovery week. Um, I haven't really looked through the fitness schedule yet, but at the very top it says there's like a lot of yoga and stretching this week to help like have like kind of an off week of repairing and, you know, relaxing a little bit before we like jump back into another eight week cycle. Um, but while I'm talking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my sidebar. So, I do think the one thing I'm going to change, let me make sure I'm in frame. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to pull this forward a little bit though while I put this down. Um, the one thing I am going to change this time around is I don't think I'm going to do the daily moves, which they're on their uh, daily workout page. Every single day they post five moves. And like when it's legs or booty, it's fine, but I think it ended up overworking like my arms and my shoulders like I I just would rather stick to the videos because a lot of times it would be the same moves and you're doing the moves for like a minute and I'd rather do fewer reps with a higher weight than like do a move for a minute where I end up having to like drop down to five pound weights to be able to do it for a minute you know it's just like not my I think that's like the I haven't really been doing them the past week unless it's like foam rolling or booty stuff because I think like if, if I wasn't doing the Beach Babe DVDs or like videos I think it would be great because this time around their like free release videos haven't been super intense they've been pretty short um, in the past like if you look back their bikini series videos from like 2014 and 2015 they were like generally longer and more intense like they had some 20 minute videos plus on there um I think I am gonna do like a pink thing for miles let me grab the headers let's do exercise over here and I'm gonna put down the hot pink one Oh, that's crooked. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm just gonna, because I've been writing it down on my habit sticker in the last, like, couple weeks, I've kind of stopped doing them, because it was just getting to be, like, overuse issues. Um, do I want to use the other checklist? I, I do want to go through my stickers this week, and I'm, like, wondering, I might put a to clean sticker on here because like I was going through and I have like a accordion thing with different months and I have like the months twice in there so that I have like the front half is all the kits I want to use in my main planner and then in the second half it's supposed to be like fitness and mock plan with me's but I've been using a lot of the kits that I like I've been pulling more scribble prints co kits into my fitness planner because she's sort of switched to having um deco and I don't, it doesn't feel as wasteful anymore. Um, let me, let's do that. And then, do I have room to put What was I thinking? I don't know. I'll save that. I'll use that in like a white space spread. Um, okay. Oh, 
I need to put washi down. I'm like, I'm going to turn off the camera now. I'm done with this part. Nope, I need to put washi down there. That is the perfect length. That is awesome. Cool. So I think this time around, I want to focus more on steady state cardio and my food. I'm going to start by putting my fitness headers across the top and then my full boxes. And then I usually come down and do my... Um, ombre heart checklist with meals and then I do my like heart checklists and headers or do I want to just start at the bottom I don't even know half the time what I'm doing I'm just gonna put my full boxes down up here and then I'll put my headers on all right I've got a plan stand so I think those were like my two areas of weakness. I ended up doing the last couple weeks, pretty much all of my miles were from HIT, which is, you know, great. Um, but I, like at the beginning, I was doing a lot more steady state cardio combined with HIT. And I kind of like tapered off on that after four or five weeks. And I was like, didn't want to leave my house to do cardio. Um, so, I think I want to, like, focus on getting back on that train. I want to keep up with the booty calls and just getting up and working out first thing. I'm not today, but I have been, like, about five days a week, which I think is good. I don't think it's realistic to, like expect that every single day I'm gonna jump out of bed and work out like sometimes I'm gonna want a lazy weekend morning but for the most part I've been just getting up and working out right away and I really like that I especially because I'm a, I sub so I sometimes don't know if I'm gonna work and if I like just get up and work out first thing even if I get called in you know at, at 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock or whatever I am already done for the day like I already know I'm good okay so then <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do my headers and heart checklists and then I've already said this this is old news all right let me put these down actually I know I keep changing my mind about what order I want to do stuff in. I'm just all over the place. That's all right. So I'm excited. I, I'm going to focus on the food more. I don't think I'm going to follow the nutrition plan, like the eight-week plan exactly. But I am going to focus on eating better. I've kind of been eating a lot of junk the last week. And that doesn't, like, make me feel great. So... I have good plans in place. I've already like meal prep, not meal prep, meal planned, and I've done some of my grocery shopping. I went on a trek to Trader Joe's, which was an adventure and a half. Um, the closest Trader Joe's to me is, <clears throat> excuse me, up towards Cleveland. It's about a 45 minute drive for me, which, you know, if I go once a month, isn't too bad. And I just like to stock up on pantry staples. I might get some things that I throw in the freezer, like stuff that's priced better there. I don't have a lot of grocery store selection where I am because um, I'm sort of out in the middle of nowhere. But I drove up to Trader Joe's. I don't know where my brain was. I forgot about cicadas. <laughs> and like we haven't had it any here it's crazy like they're all just slightly west of us um and I don't know how we don't have any but we don't have any here and like great I'm very happy about that but I was driving up route 8 if you guys are familiar with the highways in northeast Ohio 
Um, I'll actually was driving back. Like when I was driving up, I didn't notice anything. I was driving back down from Trader Joe's and I'd already like, I had a panic attack in the grocery store. Um, I'll like be real with you guys. Sometimes grocery stores really overwhelm me. Um, especially if there's like a lot of people or if I'm having trouble finding stuff and I feel like I'm just doing circles around the store and I can't find what I'm looking for and I like can't find someone to help me and normally at Trader Joe's there's always someone around to help you and I don't know if I was just there at like a weird time because I went during like the early afternoon um but like I couldn't find someone to help me I don't know I could have just been like also in a daze and like not really like helping myself um like I could have there probably was someone there to help me and I just was like I don't know what I'm doing the whole time um I'm gonna go put my uh fitness headers down but uh what was I saying yaddy 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 um that so I was already like kind of on high alert though the new building that Trader Joe's is in here has a bathroom which is great because I was able to like go sit in the bathroom for two minutes and like catch my breath and like be like I'm okay I'm okay I can make it to the checkout line um without having like 8,000 people around me because Trader Joe's is always so crowded like even when I went and it was like not crowded for a Trader Joe's and it was still really crowded um so then when I'm driving back down like to get onto the highway the road that you have to drive down is insanely busy like cars everywhere I thought I was going to die I seriously someone almost hit me three different times in like the three quarters of a mile I had to drive down to get back to the highway and there's like a ton of traffic lights since that's the wrong wrong header um Oh, I pulled all of the headers for YouTube off of the wrong one. Or fitness, I mean. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna move those over there. But anyways, um, like, one guy, like, just pulled out from the other side of the road and, like, kept going like I was there. And I had to slam on my brakes, and I think he, like, missed me by about two inches. And so my heart was already in my throat. I was already like prepped and primed to like totally lose it um and this I'm so I'm driving down it wasn't route 8 it was 271 um I'm driving down 271 and it's like rush hour not rush hour traffic but it's like backed up where there's like a split with another highway and so we're kind of like slowing down and I just hear this huge thud against my, like I see like this big thing flying at my windshield and I hear this thud and I screamed. I thought a bird had hit my car and no, it was a cicada and as we're driving, like they're, they're all over the place, like they're all over the highway, they're all over like on the side of the road, like the trees that are off the highway, they're like flying out, they're like bouncing off of cars and like every time it hit my car it made such a loud noise I kept like not screaming like ah, but like the first time I did it I was like ah, 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 because like it seriously sounded like a bird was hitting my car I've hit a bird one time in my 10 plus years of driving a bird flew into my windshield and it seriously like sounded the same um but I like thought I was gonna lose it driving home and then you like get to a point down route eight and they're just gone like there's no more cicadas and I was like, I'm just gonna like stay south of this imaginary line for another couple weeks because I don't know if I can handle that right now. Um, but yeah, that was my cicada adventure. So next I'm gonna go ahead and put my YouTube headers down and I'm gonna line them up with the bottom of these boxes here. That way, um, the heart checklists will fit well. Yeah, so that's, I really like the food at Trader Joe's and an empty sheet of stickers. I love that feeling. It's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Um, uh, I really like the food at Trader Joe's, but it's, it's honestly overwhelming because I only go maybe 
once every four to six weeks and so I'm usually getting a lot of stuff and so I'm looking for a lot of stuff and, you know stuff moves around or they might be out of stock um, I'm gonna move my like little tower of things maybe no I have like a stack of canned goods in front of my tripod blocking the like ray of light from where the blinds split and it's like the way the sun's moving it's like creeping back towards my planner I don't know if you guys can see it on my arm probably alrighty um heart checklists but I just find Trader Joe's so and it's the new store is so much better than the old store it was like really dark and narrow and like cramped and this one's much bigger and open and airy and I still just get so overwhelmed it doesn't happen it sometimes happens in Walmart but like usually when I go into Walmart I'm not getting as much stuff I'm just like and I know where everything is and it doesn't change as much and I can just go like boom 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 I like have my routine down but I don't really have a routine for Trader Joe's because I don't go there very often so I'm not like familiar with the store layout Does that happen to anyone else? Like, I feel like people are watching me and they're like, like, why is she just like pushing her cart in circles? Like, doesn't she know where she's going? Or like, she looks like an idiot or I don't know. Like, I know people aren't actually looking at me and thinking those things, but like, I just get really overwhelmed. And when there's a lot of people and I always feel like I'm in someone's way and I don't know, I'm sure it happens to other people, but it's not fun. All right, so there are the heart checklists, and that's pretty much everything for this week. Um, oh, my weekend banner. Let's put that down before I put my, my like fitness stickers down. That way I can actually have it at the top. There we go. Okay, so now I have my schedule pulled up on my phone. And I am going to go ahead and put down my workouts, if I can remember the words I'm saying. Now let's do the darker blue. Let's do that. Let's go like that. Um, so it looks like it's cardio, booty, which is like a really quick workout, and then I'm just going to do toned abs. I'm not going to do like the best summer ab routine and toned abs. Toned abs is like 20 some minutes long. I think that will suffice on its own. And then Tuesday is... 30 minutes of cardio. And I'm going to do Beach Bombshell from Beach Babe 3. It's actually a pretty fun workout. I'm actually going to do the coral one here, maybe. Does that work? We're going to pretend it works and do that. It looks okay on that sticker. Um... And then Wednesday is a two mile run. And like a stretching routine. And also maybe K and K slay. I don't know. I'll put it down. And then let's flip over. And Thursday is 30 minutes of cardio.
You know what, I haven't like gone to the, the actual gym that I have a membership for and used like the cardio equipment in a long time, so maybe I'll like try to make myself go this week. Um, I'll go ride the bike. And bikini yoga. And then they have bikini arms and abs on here. I'm gonna pull this last like light pink color off. And then Friday, let's do Friday they just have hit. Plus five daily moves. Um, let's do burn it up. I'm like trying to make decisions because it's like I haven't had a weekly schedule where I have to make decisions. Like where they're like, do this or do this. Um, and then. That was it for Friday. And then. <laughs> Saturday, I'm going to do yoga. And I have to like look and see if there's a spin class on Saturday. I haven't been to spin in so long. I used to go like twice a week. And I haven't gone in forever. And then Sunday is three mile run. Then let me grab my little weight stickers. those in there that works out fine so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in all my workouts off camera and then I will be back all right so I have all my workouts filled out and then I'm gonna go in and put down my water bottles I'm gonna alternate between this darker teal and the lighter blue um, just because I don't have enough of either to do full run and that red is not going to work for this kit. <laughs> Let me put those down and then I get to do the fun part which is decorate. Okay. Okay, okay, tam okay. Alrighty. So now I'm going to go in and decorate with this and then I'll be back. So this is the finished spread and I absolutely love how this came out. I think everything about this is just awesome. The decor, like the, the clip art was just the right size. Sometimes when it's too big you have trouble fitting it in or if it's too small like and there's a ton of it it can start to feel cluttered. I love doing like the little glitter dots up across the top and these mermaids are so pretty and honestly I picked this kit to do this week just because 
um, like tone it up. It's kind of tone it up colors like the blue and like the corally pinks and all that kind of stuff and the, the like mermaid and they always do like I'm a like they actually have a mermaid workout um, but they like have a lot of like I don't know they talk about that kind of stuff a lot and it just like felt very TIU so I am absolutely in love with this. I'm so glad this week is like the workouts are so much more chill than they've been the last um, few weeks and I think letting go of the daily moves at least for a little bit is going to be a good move for me because I think I just need to like not burn myself into the ground so yeah um if uh you did the bikini series too or you've been doing your thing let me know in the comments down below i'd love to hear how you guys did did anyone else hit a hundred mile challenge um i would love to know um but yeah i'm excited for round two i feel like i know i can do it this time and i really want to focus more on like the food like i said so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you next time bye guys